Here are my turkey gravy tips to help you this Thanksgiving. Tip number one is cheat by roasting a little turkey a few days ahead of time just to use for gravy. Drain all the juice. Add a little water to the roasting pan and scrape loose all those nuggets of joy. This is where the best flavor is. Then remove the breasts and save them for Toby turkey sandwiches. Use the rest of the turkey for stock. The legs, thighs, bones, the whole deal. Cut them into smaller pieces. In a large stock pot, heat vegetable oil and add diced onions, celery, and carrots. Season with fresh garlic, thyme, bay leaf, sage, and salt and pepper. Add the turkey meat and the juice from the roasting pan. Cover this with cold water. Bring to a boil, turn down the heat, and simmer for about three hours. Periodically, add a little extra water to replace what evaporates or boils off. Let's skim off this foam as the stock cooks. Tip number two, thicken with roux. To make roux, allow two sticks of butter to melt and come to a boil. Add a cup and a half of flour. It's important to boil the butter and cook the roux for a few minutes to get rid of the floury taste. We want the roux to be smooth like this. Dry roux will lead to lumpy gravy. Strain the stock and bring it back to a boil. Add the roux a little at a time, stirring vigorously with a wire whisk while the stock is boiling. Now this is the gravy that holidays are made of. I hope this recipe helps you make better gravy for your family. I'm Peter Harmon, the Food Guru.